Shoba Genzo Shoji Life and Death by Ihai Dogen Because in life and death there is Buddha, there is no life and death. Again we can say, because in life and death there is no Buddha, we are not deluded in life and death. This meaning was expressed by Kassan and Josan. These are the words of the two Zen masters. They are the words of people who had got the truth, and so they were decidedly not laid down in vain. A person who wishes to get free from life and death should just illuminate this truth. If a person looks for Buddha outside of life and death, that is like pointing a cart north and making for the south country of Etsu, or like facing south and hoping to see the North Star. It is to be amassing more and more causes of life and death, and to have utterly lost the way of liberation. When we understand that only life and death itself is Nirvana, there is nothing to hate as life and death, and nothing to aspire to as nirvana. Then for the first time the means exist to get free from life and death. To understand that we move from birth to death is a mistake. Birth is a state at one moment. It already has a past and will have a future. For this reason it is said in the Buddha Dharma that appearance is just non-appearance. Extinction also is a state at one moment. It too has a past and a future. This is why it is said that disappearance is just non-disappearance. In the time called life, there is nothing besides life. In the time called death, there is nothing besides death. Thus, when life comes it is just life, and when death comes it is just death. Do not say, confronting them, that you will serve them, and do not wish for them. This life and death is just the sacred life of Buddha. If we hate it and want to get rid of it, this is just wanting to lose the sacred life of Buddha. If we stick in it, if we attach to life and death, this also is to lose the sacred life of Buddha. We confine ourselves to the condition of Buddha. When we are without dislike and without longing, then for the first time we enter the mind of Buddha. But do not consider it with mind, and do not say it with words. When we just let go of our own body and our own mind and throw them into the house of Buddha, they are set into action from the side of Buddha. Then when we continue to obey this, without exerting any force and without expending any mind, we get free from life and death and become Buddha. Who would wish to linger in mind? There is a very easy way to become Buddha, not committing wrongs, being without attachment to life and death, showing deep compassion for all living beings, venerating those above and pitying those below, being free of the mind that dislikes the 10,000 things and free of the mind that desires them. The mind being without thought and without grief this is called Buddha. Look for nothing else. Shobo Genzo Shoji